Hey guys, Blood Arts here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at that Excelsior, and this is the new Tier 5 British Premium Tank. I'm not too sure what its de designation is. I'm fairly sure it's a heavy tank, but it might be a medium tank. I'm going to check right now. Okay, yeah, so it's a heavy tank. Just quickly get all my crew up to speed. It's kind of pointless getting these since I won't be playing it as much to actually level these things up, but might as well while I'm here. Okay, well this has been up the entire time, but let's take a quick look at the stats. Heavy tank, tier 5, 670 hit points. About the KV-1 S KV, let's see if I, where my KV-1 is here. 640, so it has more than the KV-1, but it doesn't have the awesome bounce titanium armor, the black hole tracks that the KV-1 has. Let's see, tons, 44 tons, 600 engine power, 38.6 speed limit, 32 traverse. That's fairly quick, so you're going to be able to turn really quickly. Let's take a look here, hull armor. 114 on the front, sides 31, back 108. Turret armor, it's got good turret armor on the sides, 92, front 114, same as the, same as this is front hull armor, back 92. Shell damage, 83 to 138, that's, that's really good, I like that. But, <clears throat> once again, that was an issue some people brought up earlier is the penetration is really lacking. I think you got like 90 average pen on this gun. So it's going to be difficult to deal a lot of damage. You're going to have to aim for weak points a lot. 15 rounds. So that's another that's another thing that's kind of disappointing. I usually run automatic fire extinguishers always. And people mentioned in earlier videos they want me to use less gold ammo. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go with a full loadout, but I'm going to bring around 15 rounds. I'm, I'm a little disappointed with the rate of fire. I, I like the British guns, and I like the ones that fire a lot quick, more quicker than that, say 25 rounds a minute. But uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll make do. Traverse speed, 36. Since everyone will be playing artillery too, since everyone is trying out the new artilleries, I will be, let's see what I can grab here. I'm going to grab a heavy spall liner. It's really expensive. Doubtful I'd ever buy it on a real server, but they've buffed spall liners so they do more de more uh, protection against artillery. So 25%. That's really good. I'm going to take that for all the artillery that I'm going to be meeting. I'm not going to be putting anything else on this just so I can get an unbiased view of the tank and how it performs without full equipment. 350 view range, 570 signal range. So everything looks really good here. Bring it out for a spin. Take a look at the main gun before I go. 175 damage with HE. With the gold rounds, you do get 144 average penetration. So that's how much are the gold rounds on this thing? 2,800. So if you ever, if there's ever an ammunition sale, just stock up on the rounds when they're half price off for 1,400. But I don't see it as something I'd regularly buy, depending on how much it makes actually in game. Let's see if we can get a. See, this is what I was talking about: 46 heavy tanks, 16 medium tanks, 7, 12, and then 142 SPGs in the queue right now, and lots of low tiers too: 27 in tier 4, 10 tier 3. Most of the people look looks like they're trying out the tier 9. SPGs and maybe the tier 9 tanks too. So it might take a little while to find a game. And when you do find a game, it's going to be something like this. It's just pure Excelsior. And Sue 122A, I think that's the new tier 5 artillery. I'll have to see when I get in game. It's either the tier 5 or the tier 4. Yeah, it's the tier 5, I was right. Now 
This is my first game in the tank, so haven't driven the tank before. Let's see how it performs. And it looks like I'm just gonna be going up against a bunch of other Excelsior heavy tanks. Luckily I put on that spell liner before I join this game. This artillery is gonna be raining everywhere. So four artil five artillery on each side. I heard it was really quick, so I wanna see how quick this tank actually is when it gets to top speed. If it can ever actually reach 38 kilometers an hour. And another thing I wanted to see uh, with the new patch that's coming out, I want to see how the accuracy is now. Are they, they've changed the accuracy spread. Maybe not on... I, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to see it on this a tank like this. Like, not a tank I'm act I've actually had in my garage and a tank I'm actually playing. But we'll just take it for a spin to see how the accuracy changes. How much more shots am I getting on enemy with the circular aimer that's kind of inaccurate like this, instead of zoomed in. But I know, uh, when this, depending if they don't nerf it too much, when this thing hits live server, it's only 1500 gold, there's really no excuse not to buy yourself one of these. It'd be good for training up Brit heavy crews. Something that, well, that is. It, I don't even know if the dogs are heavy. I don't recall. Fuck. It's got a nice kick to it. Kind of felt like it jumped when I fired that. Artillery claims its first victim. <laughs> well, it's an M4 too. Those things do go down fairly. Man, I yeah, I better get out of here. It's just a killing zone. Pretty sure I'm next on artillery's target to kill. So so far against this M4, our armor seems to be performing adequately, and. Yeah, I think he's firing the nerf turret rounds, so he's not going to be paying me finally. Fuck. Oh, and that's what happens, yeah. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was out in the open, but five artillery on each side. And they're going to get you like that. So far, that's. Uh, I guess that would be the same thing if you're in a T-14. It kind of shows how M4s are going to be dealing with new tanks. Okay, so that wasn't the best kind of game to showcase how the Excelsior would do. Five artillery on each side. That's going to be a slaughter for any kind of heavy tank out in the open. I'm hoping I'll have a better chance here. I was kind of hoping I could get some footage, and I might be able to later, of how the Excelsior would perform in like a city environment and uh, peekabooing, that kind of sort of thing. And uh, I will be uploading something along those lines, but for now, I'll just continue on here. I think for the most part, it's always going to be five artillery on each side on the test server as everyone tries out the new artilleries. I don't even think artillery is the word. <laughs> the new artillery. Give it another try, see if I don't get one shot as easily. I'll try to get already safe and see. It's not a lot of spots. This is a wide open map. Already you're gonna have rain of rain of fire. The entire area. I wanna see if I can I'm gonna just fire randomly and see if that because it feels, feels like it has a kick really. Yeah it does. I, I think that's the dynamic camera they have. You, I, I believe you can shut it off in options, but that's just to give a feeling to your shots and stuff. That's right here. Enable dynamic camera. It's a new feature, I believe. I 
see if this tank has any difficulty. It should, for the most, yeah, I think it'll have a lot of difficulty penning its counterpart right here. With gold, you'd be able to hit him, but with just the regular ammo, you're gonna have trouble penning, frontally penning from these guys. You need a lucky roll, I assume. I gotta get out of here, I can't stay still with all this artillery. Battle. Nobody's gonna be able to pin each other. If only I could find a weak spot. There probably is one, I just haven't looked it up yet. I need to get to its sides. Right there, right on the sides. Start firing into that, I have a good chance. So strategy to employ against these kind of tanks, keep them keep them uh, tracked. I got ammo racked, fuck. See, it's got terrible armor on the sides, that's where you want to attack them and engage them. Keep them tracked, hit them on the sides. It's got great armor though. It's like a better T. Fuck. It's like a better T14. Just gotta make sure they don't get you from your sides. And I'm surrounded. There's a guy behind me too. It's not good. <laughs> what is their team doing? Some, one of the Excelsiors got five kills. He must, yeah, he's just cleaning up their base right now. Should have a good chance with all our art artillery still alive. A dynamic camera. That's kind of cool. Gives you the shots like you're firing. I like it. I might keep it enabled. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No. This is. No. This sucks. I, I can safely say this sucks. I'd love to get a city map with just maybe other Excelsiors and a couple artillery, but the way the test server is now and the way everyone's going to be, everyone wants to play the new artillery and it's just like that, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to get, you're not going to be able to test it as it would perform on the live server against, say, lower tier tanks and stuff, because nobody's going to be queuing those tanks. Of course, I get one of these battles. Oh, this is going to be painful. <laughs> I'll be surprised if I'm able to do much. Don't get one shot. I want to go look at the artillery, but they're all the way down there. I suppose I might as well see how well this thing against tier sixes. We got an AT8, pen, two Panzers, Maltum, Schmaltums, however you pronounce that. That KV1S, RL. I'm not gonna, ex yeah, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be bouncing anything from the RL or the KV1S. That's just not gonna happen. But who knows? And the C100Y, I'm probably not gonna be bouncing anything from that. Is the rest of these other tanks look like it's possible to bounce them? Let's see. I'm just gonna get blown to shit by Artie. It's just been happening. Just without the with these open maps with no cover. It's just that's what you're gonna get. Deal with it. Okay. Just deal with getting one shot. That's what happens in this five artillery in a battle. You're gonna pick somebody to focus on and you're gonna take them out. And I'm just the unlucky sacrificial lamb right now. I 
I could always go to town. So if I can get there in time before this kid on us pops around the corner again, one shots me. take out two more tier sixes and we could just have free reign with the artillery. We're not gonna be able to do anything. I mean if I was able to spot the artillery they'd all be dead. They'd all get taken down easy. I'm too slow to do that right now. I'm a dead driver. In battle. He must have killed himself. Splash against the building. So yeah, the gameplay videos, the the footage I've got so far, it's kind of disappointing. It shows that this tank gets really thrown around by artillery. But hopefully, I'll be able to get some better footage later on. I'll be playing on the test server a bit. probably end it here and this is what I'll be uploading to YouTube. <laughs> it's not a bad tank to drive if circumstance I'd say. Meaning other Excel shooters you can have trouble pinning them on the front. And yeah, I kinda wanna try this on a test on the live server. Against people I know will have trouble pinning me. Instead of just going up against say five or six artillery and the rest of Excel series. 